Hello and welcome to this video where we'll be taking a look at a selection of cases that we've received from Elixir for the upcoming S10 models. We do have subtitles available on our video for the region seen here. If you'd like to enable this feature, simply select your region from the settings below. With many rumours and leaks being thrown out, we now have a pretty solid understanding of what to expect from Samsung's upcoming handsets. In our previous S10 video, we took a look at the Elixir screen protectors, which while very simple, gave us a fair amount of information with regard to the screen size and the curvature of the display. Here with us today, we have three cases sent in from Elixir. These cases have been designed specifically for the S10e, the S10 and the S10 Plus. While we are yet to receive the phone itself, these cases do tell a lot about it, and it's interesting to see where the cutouts and button covers have been placed. One thing that stands out to me the most here is on the Elixir Sentinel, made for the S10e. Where you would usually find a button cover protecting the lock button, there is a cutout, which supports the recent rumours of the lock button of the S10e housing the fingerprint reader. This will actually be a first for Samsung, and in my opinion it seems like a convenient place to put a fingerprint reader. On the left side we have the volume buttons and the Bixby button, and of course a cutout in the back for the dual camera setup. As Elixir Sentinel also comes with a screen protector, we can also get a good idea of what to expect in terms of display. The screen protector measures in at 5.8 inches and has extremely thin bezels around the edges. I notice this protector has no curvature whatsoever, which supports the rumours of the S10e having a flat display. Taking a look now at the S10 and the S10 Plus, here we have both the Elixir carbon fibre case and the dual layer armour case. Both covers are very similar in terms of cutouts for ports and the placement of the button covers, with the only obvious difference being the size. At the bottom here we have the cutouts for the headphone jack, charging port and the speaker, which is actually identical to what we saw in the S9 and S9 Plus models. One thing I did notice when comparing the S10 cases to the S9W models is the buttons have a slightly different size and placement. The power button has been reduced in size and moved further up the phone, while the volume and Bixby buttons on the left have a slight adjustment also. The back of each case has a letterbox style cutter, making room for the impressive triple camera setup that we will be seeing in the S10 and S10 Plus. Comparing all three phone cases side by side, we can see the difference in size between the three models. With the release date getting closer and closer, we'll shortly be seeing the S10e, the S10 and the S10 Plus in their full glory. That's all we have for our look into the upcoming Samsung S10 range. Be sure to subscribe for further updates on the S10. Please do let us know what you think of Samsung's upcoming handsets in the comments of this video.